Biology for CSEC with yours truly, Miss Shallow. In today's lesson, we will be talking about movement. This is the second in the series on the topic, and in this particular lesson, we will define skeleton, differentiate between the types of skeleton, describe the structure of the human skeleton, and list the functions of the human skeleton. So let's go! <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it would be like if we didn't have bones? We will probably be just a blob. But we do have bones which make up a part of our skeleton. The skeleton is the framework of the body and all higher organisms have some sort of skeleton. In animals, there are two types of skeleton. The first type is called an exoskeleton and is found on the outside of the organism's body. This may be a chitin exoskeleton that is seen in many insects or a calcium carbonate exoskeleton that is seen in many crustaceans. The other type is the endoskeleton which is found on the inside of the organism's body. All vertebrates, which include humans as we are mammals, contain an endoskeleton. We will focus on the human skeleton. But before we delve into the human skeleton, here are a few fun facts. The adult body consists of 206 bones. The largest of them being the thigh bone or the femur. The smallest bones found in the human skeleton are found in your ear. Those three bones are the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. The only bone of the skeleton that is not directly connected to another bone is the hyoid, a U-shaped bone that supports the tongue. The human skeleton can be divided into two basic parts. The first being the axial skeleton which essentially makes up the axis of the skeleton. The axial skeleton comprises of the cranium or skull, the vertebrae or the backbone and the rib cage. The second part of the human skeleton is the appendicular skeleton. And the appendicular skeleton comprises of our girdles and our appendages. We have the pectoral girdles from which the upper limbs hang and the pelvic girdle from which the lower limbs hang. The skeleton provides several functions for the body. The first function is structure and support. Without our skeleton to support the body, we will just be a simple blob. The second function of the skeleton is protection. The skeleton protects the vital organs of the body. For example, the skull protects the brain. The vertebral column or the vertebrae protects our spinal cord. And the ribs protect our heart and lungs. The skeleton also allows movement. With the aid of muscles and joints, the skeleton can act as levers providing movement. The skeleton also produces our blood cells. The interior of our bones and in particular our long bones is called the marrow. And the marrow functions to produce our red blood cells, our white blood cells, and our platelets. The skeleton also acts as storage. It stores minerals, mainly calcium and phosphorus, in the form of phosphate. So in this lesson, we define the skeleton as the framework of the body. 
there are two types of skeleton, the exoskeleton, which is located on the outside of the organism, and the endoskeleton, which is located on the inside of the organism. Human skeleton is made up of the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton, and the skeleton provides a range of functions which include structure and support, protection of vital organs, movement, production of blood cells, and storage of minerals. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be the first to know when our next lesson is posted.